C1, C3, Ultra Soft, Hyper Soft and so on. There are so many choices when it comes to tyre compounds and they are so important for the strategy of the teams. When does a tyre come to life? Which compound is faster over a stint? And which tyres can the teams use? Hopefully, by the end of this video, it will all make sense. How does an F1 Pirelli tyre work? Formula 1 tyres are very complex. In your own car, you can get in and drive to your heart's content. With the slicks in Formula 1, you would slide in all directions. The tyres have a minimum temperature of 80 degrees. The teams can warm them up using tyre warmers in the pit lane. But even at 80 degrees, the tyres do not function at the peak performance. In qualifying, we we often see the drivers working hard to warm up the tyres. They do this to reach the ideal temperature of 100 to 110 degrees. If one of the four tyres is still below that temperature, the drivers will notice the difference immediately. When the tyres get too hot, you slide in all different directions and they wear out faster, meaning the drivers could be heading to the pits prematurely. Blistering. Blistering is when the middle part of the tyre gets too hot. This can be due to a hot track or outside temperature, or even if the driver is too aggressive with his driving style. However, Pirelli try to prevent blistering by adding certain chemicals to the rubber. Graining has the reverse process, which we'll get onto next. Graining. Graining is when the outer part of the tyre is too hot and the inner part is not yet at the right temperature. This is where you see sticking on the outside of the tyre where the rubber is pushed off. This can cause the driver to have a lack of grip, but unlike blistering, a tyre with graining can be repaired. This is possible by doing a burnout for the rear wheels and the front tyres by steering hard from left to right. Warming up the tyres is very important to prevent blisters and graining. How fast you can warm your tyres up also depends on how stiff the rubber is and that brings me to the different tyre compounds. The regulations. Each team gets 13 sets of tyres from Pirelli each race weekend. Of these, Pirelli keeps three reserved for the race. The other 10 sets the teams can use in practice and qualification and you often see that teams keep a new set for the race. The teams have to make at least one pit stop and they must use two different compounds. Some compounds are faster than others, but others can do more laps. A few years ago, we still had tires such as Hypersofts, Ultrasofts, and Super Softs. But fortunately, Formula One understood that it was getting more and more complicated for the fans. Formula One has kept these compounds, but during the race weekend, they have three easy to remember names. The hard tyres, the white banded compound, the medium tyres, the yellow banded compound, and the soft tyres, the red compound. So how do Pirelli decide which sets to use at which race? They of course take the soft, medium and hard compounds to each race, however these can range from C1 to C5 depending on what Pirelli decide. They of course look at the weather. The temperature is very important, if it gets really hot they go for harder tyres. Of course the track also has something to do with it, if you look at tracks like Barcelona or Bahrain, you can see that the teams there are always focused on the tyres. The tyre wear is very high at these locations. If there are fast corners where tyres are under more pressure or there are warm temperatures, Pirelli often choose harder compounds. Red soft tyres. If we look at Monaco for example, we often see the drivers driving on the softest tyre. The hyper soft and ultra soft tyres were very popular because the soft tyres provide more grip but wear out quicker so the teams have to make a compromise by taking a harder tyre. On the short and twisty tracks like Monaco this saves a lot of time. Yellow medium tyres. The all round tyre that you see so often. Even in qualifying the top teams drive on the yellow medium tyre and all this is for a good race strategy. The medium tyre is in between the soft and hard sets and it gives the team a strong option in terms of strategy. Drivers can often drive for a long time on the yellow compound even longer than tyre supplier Pirelli indicate. White hard tyres. The white banded hard tyres are much more durable than the other sets, but what you make up for in duration, you lose in speed. You sometimes see the middle or back row teams at an early safety car sometimes put the white tyre on to finish the race without another stop, with the hope of getting in the points. On tracks where the tyre wear is very high, you're more likely to see these. Think of places like Barcelona, Bahrain and Silverstone. And of course, we have the rain tyres, intermediates. The tyres with the green band. The intermediate tyre is an all round tyre for various situations. The tyre is good on a medium or wet track, but it is also capable of racing on a dry track. Rain tyres are all about how much water per second is displaced by the tyre. For the intermediates, this is 30 litres per second. For more extreme conditions, of course, a different tyre is needed. The wet tyre is used in heavy rain situations. The tyre can drain 85 litres of water per second at a speed of 300 kilometers per hour. However, this tire is not as good on a drying track as it has more tread on it. Well, hopefully that has explained how Formula One tires work. If it has been helpful in any way, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you next time.